Now, more suspects have been arrested in connection with the Mhlatuzi Water Board corruption case, and this is in connection with the 37 million rand tender that was unlawfully awarded to a law firm. ENCA senior reporter Dayson Thatia has the details. Good morning again, Dayson. Just the latest update with regards to this case. Well, Cindy, I've now been able to confirm that, in fact, there were six suspects uh, that uh, were being processed here at the Durban Central Police Station a short while ago. When I chatted to our colleague Gareth earlier, at that point we'd known of about three of them. Now I've received confirmation that the six that were initially included on those warrants for arrest have been processed. There was an arrangement that was made uh, with the investigating officer to ensure that they were brought here to the station with their legal representatives and that's where they handed themselves over as we understand for now they have been linked to that fraud case which involves 37 million rand in uh, in illegally awarded tenders most of that going to one particular law firm so the process now will mean that they will uh, finalize their business here at the police station before they will be taken to the commercial crimes court which is just across the road from where we are standing that's where they they will make their first appearance and will be expected to apply for bail but importantly they will then join the other accused in this matter there are eight others and they will all appear together as a collective in the coming days this will be a, a matter that has now been going on for over a year and they will now join in so that the case can be dealt with altogether but we're seeing more and more of these cases, uh, particularly when it comes to tender irregularities involving mu municipalities uh, uh, flouting their processes as well, Jason. Uh, more, uh, are we expecting more arrests to be made in this particular case? We definitely are, because this is a matter that is still well under investigation. And interestingly, when you talk about the Implatuse Water Board matter, it comes at a time when the entity is actually being dissolved and being uh, put together with Mgeni Water, which is the other water board in KwaZulu-Natal. So by the end of this month, in fact, Implatuse Water will cease to exist. But with this particular fraud matter. This was an issue that had been going on uh, a few years ago where there was a board, a legal board that was, a panel rather, that was appointed and they were meant to investigate ir irregular expenditure at the entity and ironically it was that panel that was constituted that ended up being now implicated in illegal expenditure, particularly Stembelo Mhlanga, that was one of the attorneys which was closely linked to the former CEO, Ntokozisi Duze. And that, the, the bulk of the money that was meant for that legal panel was then allegedly channeled to Mhlanga. You know, just one of the, the, the startling numbers that had come out of this was that the budget for that legal panel was allegedly inflated by about 640 percent, which resulted in, um, in that money then being channeled towards Mhlanga. But beyond that, you'll know that there's also a linked case which relates to the Director General in the Office of the Premier in KwaZulu-Natal, and she was charged for defeating the ends of justice and intimidation in, con in connection with the Simplatuse water case. All right, but of course this uh, still has to be uh, ventilated throughout the process before any convictions can be made, Dayson. But nonetheless, uh, it seems that at least the uh, National Prosecuting Authority, the uh, whole police uh, um, ecosystem, if you will, has done a good job so far. It would seem that they are certainly trying their best to uncover uh, this level of corruption. What's also important to note is that what we're seeing in these cases is that the basis of most of them seem to be these forensic reports that are being commissioned. This particular case is no different. So this criminal investigation was sparked by that forensic report which was commissioned by Mplatuze Water. And as a result of that and as a, as a result of those findings, you then have these uh, criminal matters that, uh, that uh, then follow on. And that's where we are now. But the word is that this investigation will continue. It is possible that there will be more arrests in this case. But as you rightfully said, the, the case hasn't reached the trial phase. All of the accused so far are out on bail. So uh, there is a lot more detail that needs to be explored when the matter does sit for trial.
All right, much appreciated indeed. That's ENCA senior reporter Jason Thathia out uh, in uh, in KZN reporting there on the case uh, with the Mlatuzi Water Board corruption case of 37 million rand tender irregularities. Uh, we'll certainly keep an eye on that story.